Hello, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Call of Duty video on my channel. Yes, it has been a very long time. I don't actually know how long it's been, but I made a Black Ops 2 video quite some time ago. And you know, it's been quite a while. And today is an important day. It is the release of Call of Duty Black Ops 3. It is, it's, it's just a very big day for all Call of Duty fans everywhere. I have not been too bothered to pre-order it yet. I, well, uh, not yet, I ha just haven't pre just did not pre-order it. So I think it's it's too late obviously to pre-order it. I mean, it's coming out tonight at 12. And, I you know, my friends are getting it. Um, Ryan, Ryan is going to go to GameStop tonight to get it. And I told him, sure I go with you, give you some moral support, you know. Support him while he's getting the game. I'll probably play it with him as well, you know, I'll go up to his house and, you know, play some zombies, play some multiplayer maybe. But uh, Ryan and Connor, they're just going to grind the crap out of zombies. And, you know, they're, they're massive fans of zombies. I like zombies, guys, you know, I'm going to show you some uh, zombies gameplay here on the screen and some um, some Black Ops 2 multiplayer zombie, not so, multiplayer and zombies, that's, that's what I'm going to show you guys. And a bit of Black Ops 3 zombies and multiplayer as well. And, I, you know, I, I was... I made this video to help myself determine whether I should get the game or not. I'm kind of like, I've, I've, I've been kind of half and half. Now, I wasn't getting at all, getting the game at all. Like, I was 100% sure that I was not going to get the game. Like, you know, a while back, like a week ago kind of stuff. About a week, yeah, about it, you know, yeah, I'm not even going to say it. But, about a week ago, I said it, I did it, I freaking did it, who gives a crap. But yeah, about a week ago, I didn't have any money so that was like the main reason I was like ah crap I, I don't have money so I'm just not gonna bother getting it so I kind of just like completely shut it out of my mind like you know I just didn't really care about the game coming out and I was not rushing to get it but now I have money and you know the game looks fantastic graphically you know I'm looking at some of these multiplayer gameplays and it just looks brilliant I mean I'm kind of getting you know the opposite to dry while I'm watching this gameplay and it, it looks fantastic the multiplayer looks fun as well, you know, the zombies looks good, and you know, it's zombies guys, zombies is actually returning, did did we go three years without zombies, is that, is that what happened since, you know, Call of Duty changed their release, releasing of the games, you know, the, it's like Treyarch is the zombies, and then there's Sledgehammer, and, hmm, what the heck is the other one, it's the one that made ghosts, right, I really don't know, who gives a crap? It's Treyarch is the one that we mainly care about, you know, they're the ones who make zombies and, you know, zombies is like the one of the biggest things Call of Duty has done. Uh, the, 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 there's two zombie maps that are coming out, there's the, oh, I forgot it's called, it's like the Night of the Shadow thing, Nightmares thing, I don't even know, but you know, yes, there's, it looks really cool, there's like a power shield thing that looks awesome, you know, I'll show it on screen there, I guess, you know, just to let you guys see it but you know I'm kind of just trying to remember it really here it looks it looks cool really it looks like it's gonna be fun there's like melee weapon things that look like they're gonna be a bit OP and you know it's obviously gonna be part of the easter eggs and stuff you know the easter eggs are kind of crazy something I don't like about zombies is you know you kind of have to have friends you know so those easter eggs you kind of need four people and you know you know that's kind of awkward sometimes because not everybody has four friends you know three friends derp but uh yeah, something I just don't like. I, I I would rather if they allowed people to be able to do these rigs on their own. But you know, I guess it's another part of the game. You know, teamwork, man. It's all about being a team. Also, guys, the prestige emblems in Black Ops Three look awesome. I mean, they put a lot of effort into these prestige emblems. I don't know if I can show you guys the emblems on screen on on like screen right now because they had just come out, and I. Like, I'm pretty sure it's copyrighted by someone who released it. I'm not sure. I really don't know. I guess I could show it on screen. Screw it. I'm showing it. Copyright. Who gives a crap? But, yeah, the Prestige Emblems look awesome. Um, I've never been a Prestige Master in a Call of Duty game before. I have never been bothered to try that long and just get to Prestige Master. So, some of them look awesome. Like, the third one, I think. You know, third one looks cool, I think. I think it's the third one. Maybe the fourth one, yeah. I might go to that fourth one and just chill there because it looks so good. 
And then there's the Prestige Master, which is like, you know, seven more freaking ones there. And they've also said that there is another, like, way to keep ranking up once you've reached the highest prestige. Some way to level up and stuff. I don't know how it's going to go, but they've said that. And, you know, that's going to be interesting because a lot of people get to Prestige Master and just like, huh, now I'm freaking bored, no, I don't play anymore. And when, when they get to the Prestige Master, it's just, you know, they're just done. They're done with the game. Um, hasta la vista, baby, kind of thing. Hasta la vista, baby. Get to the chapa, kind of thing, you know. Yeah, yeah it's just, they're just done with the game, okay? That's all it is. Um, what is it? There's, like, I'm going to give you guys some problems with the game. No, it's expensive, obviously. Where I'm... Where I live, GameStop are selling it for 75 euro. Um, so, you know, th that's just, just the one problem. But, you know, I have money right now, so I'm really not too bothered about spending the money on it. Uh, the only thing is, you know, there's the the giant map with the original uh, storyline for zombies. And that is the storyline that I want to like I, I want to see. Because that th I just love those characters, you know, they're, they're the original zombies characters. And it's just, it, it looks so cool. The storyline is very interesting. Which is why I'm not really too bothered about the the new zombies map, but the giant one that you need to buy the DLC. You know, you need to buy the DLC to get that one. So that's 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 a that's a con for the freaking game. I don't like that crap. DLC just pisses me off with everything, especially micro DLC. Well, no, it's just way for them to make so much money, and you know, people just they're just buying it. You know, I don't know. Shut, they're just they're just buy. Give me give me your money and stuff. Now, one other con is the futuristic movement. Now, when Advanced Warfare came out, I was like, oh my god, this game looks freaking class. Like, top class. And then I kinda, it kind of just got old really fast for me. I mean, the Advanced Movement thing, it kind of just... It didn't feel like Call of Duty anymore. Like, the classic movement of Call of Duty is what I, you know, fell in love with, guys. Like, Black Ops 2 had classic movement. And, you know, I really liked that. And, you know, Black Ops 2 just... It's on that old Xbox 360 right there, and I really want to play one on the Xbox One. And they're taking their time allowing us to be able to play the 360 games on the Xbox One. Don't know why. Apparently it's a lot of work. Um, but yeah, there is futuristic movement in Black Ops 3. But, in the gameplays that I've seen in, during the beta, it hasn't seemed to be much of a problem. Like, in Advanced Warfare guys, that boost jump thing, people would just, like, pick up a sniper, and just jump, just keep freaking jumping. You know, it was going kind of crazy. It was a little bit too crazy, in my opinion. And you know, the classical movement—that's that's that's where where that's where it's at. That's what we want. We want them. The fans really, really want the Call of Duty to make, uh, like, go back to the World War Two kind of time. That's what that's what they want. They want a game after World at War, pretty much. So World at War 2 is the kind of game that they want. I don't know how they're going to do that really when, you know, when it comes to time period. But you know, we just wanted to go back to that era. Now, another problem is the OP gun. Yes, there is an OP gun in Black Ops 3. No matter what you've heard so far, even from the beta, there is, there is always an OP gun. There is always one. Now, if they actually get rid of it, I'm happy, you know. But it's never really that much of a problem. Black Ops 2 had the AN-94. Advanced Warfare had the freaking ASM-1. Call of Duty Ghosts had the m -tar. You know, there's just that gun. That causes so many people to use it. And, you know, there's just no range of guns being used in the game. And, you know, it's just, it just takes a bit away from the game. If everyone's using the same freaking gun, there's always people using the sniper. Because, you know, people like the snipers. And it's just a whole different community there. And you know, it's just the MTAR and the snipers when it comes to ghosts. And you know, the same with like, you know, the other guns. So that was the OP gun. I don't think they're gonna get rid of it, but you know, it's always gonna be a problem. Now, let's get back to the pros. There's one. Not the, no, 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 no. There's two massive pros for this game. Now, one of them is only for, like, you know, it doesn't count on Xbox or PS4. Or the Wii. If. If, if that's what you want to play this game on. Um, but the pros are... The Zombie Campaign Mode. Now, this is not a pro confirmed because it's only a rumor right here. Or have they confirmed it? I'm not really sure. But, yes. 
the freaking zombie campaign mode is going to be a thing possibly maybe who freaking knows only trey no, i'm pretty sure but yeah zombies campaign mode is something we've been asking for something we've been wishing for and you know it's it's a possibility because it's, it's being heavily rumored i don't know much about it but you know what's it's there now a pro that is definitely there but not available to X, to xbox ps4 and we is the custom maps now that is something that's in World at War that we all freaking love. World at War is still being played today by thousands of people because of the custom maps for zombies mainly. I don't know about multiplayer. I've never really played a custom zombies or custom multiplayer map, but zombies, you know, I've played a couple and I watched a lot of videos, guys. I love watching the custom zombie maps videos because I'm not even that good at zombies, guys. I, I enjoy watching it. I enjoy playing it a bit, but I'm, I'm not really a fan of tryharding myself. So I do like to watch people play it. Um. So yeah, the custom freaking, you know, the custom zombies maps for Black Ops 3 could be amazing. Because the stuff that have been done at World on World at War custom zombies maps like are even amazing even though they're limited to that, you know, the time World at War was made, you know, they don't have much to work with there, but with Black Ops 3, just imagine the crazy stuff they could come up with. It would be amazing. But the only problem with that as well is it's only available for PC. And not Xbox, PS4, or the Wii. Um, and the, the other problem with that is it's in a closed beta in March 2016. So what that means is only people who are invited to play and do it. I'm not sure, maybe it's only to make the maps that people are close to. But, you know, if the public are open to be able to play the custom maps that are made, that would be amazing. And I'd be totally up for it. And that's pretty much it guys, that's uh, that's all I really have to talk about about Call of Duty. I'm gonna just show you guys where I'm at with Call of Duty really. The only thing is I'm gonna get it really because why not? And here's my uh, my way of getting it. Now I, I, as I said I'm gonna go to GameStop with Ryan tonight to get it. Um, well t he's gonna get it because he's pre-ordered it and he's had, had a pre-order for ages because Ryan is like a little girl on Hanukkah right now like he, he, he is so freaking happy for this game coming out I don't know why I use little girl on Hanukkah I'm just trying to you know show you guys what is it give you guys an idea of how, how his excitement of this game is like he's like oh my god oh my god every like you know 20 minutes kind of thing so I'm gonna go with him to GameStop and you know if they have any left I'll say yo homie give me that game and I'll be like, he'll be like oh yeah here it is man and I'm just gonna run I'm just gonna pick him and run I might, I might drop 75 euro on the table, you know, that, that might that might happen, but I'm running, I'm running, I'm gonna run home, uh, you know, install it, because that's the thing that we gotta do nowadays, we can't just, you know, put the disc in and play anymore, we gotta install it, boys, that's what we gotta do nowadays, and you know, I don't know what I'm gonna play first, am I gonna play zombies or am I gonna play multiplayer, a lot of people are on the multiplayer side, a lot of people, a lot more people are on the zombie side, but, uh, I'm half and half, guys, I, I love multiplayer, I, uh, I like zombies, but, you know, if I play one too long, I'm just going to get fed up with it. So that's the thing that Black Ops 3 has. It has multiplayer and zombies, and you know, you get sick of one, you can go to the other. And I'm not going to grind the zombies too much, guys. I'll play it every once in a while, you know, it's, cause, yeah, it's just chill, you know. Zombies and chill. The new version of, you know, the Netflix one. Yeah, whatever. So yeah, I'm going to go into Netflix, uh, GameStop. I'm not going to go to Netflix. Why am I talking about Netflix? God damn it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go to GameStop today, and I'm going to see if I can get it. Hopefully, I get this video up today. Cause that'd be awkward if I get it up tomorrow. Cause then I, you know, I might have the game already. And be like, yeah, I have it. Uh, you know, the video is very irrelevant. Um, and if not, if if I if they don't have any game left over, I'm gonna go to this website, this amazing website called Zavi. Shout out to you, Fabian, for telling me about this website. But uh, yeah, the Zavi website s sells the games for really freaking cheap, and I think I'm pretty sure. I don't have to pay for shipping because like you know it's a UK it's a UK website and you know they ship to Ireland for free because you know most people consider Ireland and the UK the same freaking thing but they're not you know just saying and yeah free shipping uh, I think is the thing I'm not sure I'm probably very wrong but I, 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 I bought a game before and I'm pretty sure I didn't have to pay for shipping I'm probably so wrong <laughs> who cares but yeah it's actually so cheap on there it's 60 63 euro I think and you know that that's really cheap, you know, on the Xbox One, especially since the retail price in GameStop is 75. Um, it actually went up in price on Zavi. It was 50 something, and now it's 63. So 
you know they actually raised the price for some reason but you know that's pretty much it guys that's all I have to say you know the the freaking zombie campaign mode is what I'm really really like looking toward because you know that could be amazing like that is like a whole new era of gaming right there zombies campaign mode for Call of Duty it's something we've wanted for so long and if they do it G freaking G guys thanks for watching the video I hope you enjoyed uh, the chat I just had with you guys and hope you enjoyed the, the video that I haven't even made yet I'm just commentating really I'm just commentating looking at a screen I'm trying my best not to click like this because you guys can hear that stuff and if I use my space bar yeah yeah that's very loud because my microphone picks up a lot so that's pretty much it thanks for watching guys GG